has been making it really easy for you to customize the look of your games. Ray tracing is the technology of the future, and it always will be. Congratulations! You've just done the same thing that happens in ray tracing. So quite, quite often when I'm streaming, uh, people come to my chat and go, Joe, Joe, why does your, why does your game look like that? Oh, we don't. Um, why does your game look so good? Uh, quite often is what they say. You gonna come for um, me? Answer, the answer is normally mods. Normally it's a lot of mods on the game. Um, but more often than not, the answer is reshade. Or reshade. I need to let, I need to let some air out of this. It's too hard. Maybe too much. That's probably too much. Jesus, I've probably. You know, that's actually very right. It's happened recently. I've been playing The Witcher 3. Um, people go, ooh, the game looks nice. So, mods plus reshade make, makes game look very modern. Old game. I mean, it's, it's a good looking game, but it's a little bit of extra work. It looks, it looks like a brand new 2022 game. Um, but, but also, more notably, when I played Breath of the Wild. This is the strat. This is what you're meant to do. This is how you win the game. Played it through an emulator. Everyone, I did a puzzle. Adding ray tracing to that game. Ooh. It's very nice. It looks, it looks great. Using reshade, adding some effects. It looks premium. So what is reshade? It's a, it's a post-processing injector. What does that mean? Basically, you install it on top of a game and then adds additional effects after it's all rendered. I think the easy way to sort of visualize it is like, we have this, this raw video currently. Afterwards, I'm gonna edit it and add, add a little bit more color and contrast to it sort of thing. That's like a post-processed effect. So Reshade basically does that but for video games and does it does a lot more effects than just a little bit of color, a little bit of contrast. And I'm saying that all of this very cool and all, but why, why are you out? Why are you outside, Joe? Uh, basically, I don't get out much, and I need to. I need a reminder of what the what the real world looks like. It's green. It's very green. Um, it's a good comparison for me, uh, seeing as I use reshade on a lot of games. The outside. I need to get out more. <laughs> so far I've only been talking about reshade, which is its its own its own thing. How, how's this for framing? But back in 2018, NVIDIA released NVIDIA Freestyle. Massively cringe trailer out of the way, but um, it's a starting point. It's a, it was a starting point. When it first released NVIDIA Freestyle, it basically it was very limited as to what it could do. I mean, as you can, from the trailer, it was very over the top. Not really, oh, let's make games look better. Let's make them deep fried and awful. But it's the start of the process of, oh, different consumers like the look of different, different styles. And it's the start of the customization of, hey, you like games, but you like this look. You can make it happen. But yeah, back, back, back when it started, it was very, very bare bones. So it, most people, me, me included, stuck with stuck with reshade because there were so many more, so many more options for it. Basically, not only were there more effects available for reshade, but you could basically install it onto onto any game, onto any game. Like I've run old old PS2 emulation on my PC and then added reshade to it, and it and it's it's been pretty good. Uh, like Breath of the Wild, like for example, using an old Wii U emulator to get that run in. I, I will just say that the the ray chasing um, effect that I use for reshade, it's, it costs me four quid. Um, Marty McFly's R RTGI reshader, Pascal, whatever it, whatever. It, I'll link it. Um, it's very good. It's very good. It's on it's on a Patreon. But there's so much guff on the lens. It's, it's kind of nuts, the flexibility you have with Reshade. The downside to that is you do have to install it on, a, on like a per game basis. But that sort of brings us on to the good side of Freestyle. The good side of Freestyle is you don't have to install it. 
per game. If the game is supported, you just you just do your NVIDIA overlay, a couple of buttons, you can enable filters without having to install additional stuff. So much easier. So much easier. Also, there was like big controversy with reshade and like competitive games. I remember playing PUBG back in the day when that came out, and you would get banned for using reshade in PUBG. Basically, you could crank up the saturation, crank up the sharpness, and you'd be able to spot people super easy. It gives you, it basically gave you a competitive advantage. So if you had installed reshade in your PUBG, you're banned. But doesn't seem to be a problem with NVIDIA Freestyle. Uh, you can go ham. It's an officially supported game. <laughs> so crank up the saturation, crank up the sharpness, spot those boys hiding in the bushes. But let, let's go through Freestyle very briefly, because it's, it's come a long way since 2018 with that trailer. Um, I guess we'll start with like their newest, their newest features. Uh, they've got screen space ray tracing. You know ray tracing. Adding, adding in, ooh, sexy lighting. I'm not sure if it's proper ray tracing. I think it just works off what's being shown on screen and then uses a a depth map to help figure out some maths. I feel most people are kind of familiar with ray tracing works. It basically makes light within games act like real lighting would in real life. It is quite intensive on your computer, but it looks good. Um, probably, probably one of the best effects is the ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion in games is underrated. You see, you see it everywhere in life, but you don't really notice it. It's when you, when you get two objects close to each other and they, they cast shadows on each other. It just helps, helps things that make, make it look realistic, basically. I mean, you probably know about it already, but. It adds so much to making textures and objects feel like they're interacting correctly. But of all the post-processing effects that are available in Freestyle, I've got to say, I think it's detail. Detail is it's very good. It's very good. So I play a lot of Dota 2. I've now used Freestyle to increase the sharpness of, of Dota 2, adding a bit more texture to it, and it feels great. I'm looking at it, it looks incredible to me. There's that same effect you can use within PUBG, which is the HDR element of the detail post effect. And it's crazy. It is crazy. It, it's more, not, not even how good it looks, it's how crazy that it's allowed. Um, just because it makes everything so clear. So very clear, even like like indoors, quite often people will hide about. It's hard to, it's like half the thing of PUBG is spotting people. And you can spot people very easily with the HDR effect. Um, all right, all right. But what, but what if we can add re reshade filters? Filters made by a community of people into NVIDIA Freestyle. What if, I don't actually know. I don't actually, at this point, I don't actually know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. So I think in theory, we should be able to just like find find the folder where the Nvidia Freestyle like post processing effects are stored, and just add in more. It may not be that simple. We're gonna. Short answer is, yeah, you, you can. Uh, however, however, on supported games. So currently, as, as we have it, this is the current list of supported games for Freestyle. NVIDIA Freestyle, that 650 odd games have support. However, only 70 games, only 70 games have official support for reshade filters within Freestyle. Um, within that within that list is The Witcher. Um, I, th I think it's the only game on that list that I actually have. In theory now, that's turning, that's turning off my reshade filters. In theory, they should all be in here. It's kind of there. It's kind of there. Like, and this is kind of having a quick twiddle with 
what filters are available with reshade filters enabled. It's not quite got that precision you get with reshade. Um, you can make so many more minor adjustments. I do quite like this look. I mean, it looks completely different. I mean, look, at this is having a quick fiddle with freestyle. And then this this is the reshade pre preset I've been playing with. I like, I like both. They're both very different moods. This is kind of a more vibrant play of the game. Kind of fun, but then, then Oh, this feels a bit more like kind of cinematic, right? I uh, just punched some dogs. Um, so, I I guess I guess kind of what it what it comes down to is do you have an Nvidia GPU? If not, use Reshade. Are you playing one of the seventy games that? allow reshade filters if not use reshade um do you want precise control over a look and feel use reshade 